Building structure contour patterns is a great way of analyzing fold structures on maps. So let's look at this map here, which picks out a fold. We can do that by tracing the bedding around by following the strike symbols around like this. So there's clearly a fold structure that's closing down towards this southwest end of the map with a long area here where the strike is running like this, another area here where the strike runs more or less north-south. The other thing we can pick out in here is the topography. So there's a valley running up through here with low ground, another one here. So two valleys running northwest, southeast, and a ridge coming sort of through here that's cut into by another couple of valleys here. And this area down in here with a, a valley running up like this. So this fold structure has been essentially cut through, through here. And we can use the way in which this boundary interacts with the topography to pick out some structure contours on the fold. Well, to get us going, let's just look down into this area here where we can see the strike symbols running like this, which is perpendicular to the trend of our ridge line. So we can see the boundary comes up here and makes this V-shape over the topography. And so if we pick that topographic contour here, we can essentially put some structure contours through like this on the 13, 14 and 1500 meter topographic contour equal structure contour through there. Okay, so that means that the boundary is dipping like this and dipping into this ground like that, down the dip direction. So we're confirming that the boundary makes sense compared to the orientation of bedding. And we'll use this information now to just draw some structure contours through this ground. So let's do that, let's move this out of the way, and let's pick the 1200 meter structure contour. So that is the 1200 meter topographic contour. So that's part of the structure contour there where the boundary cuts the 1200 meter topo. And there's the 1200 meter topo. So if we use that trend there and tie it into where these strike symbols go, the structure contour is gonna come through something like that. And I'll just label that 1200 so we know which one we're drawing. So the trend of the structure contour is following that picked out by the bedding strikes. Now let's continue over to this side of the valley, which is basically continuing along the same trend. And here is the intersection of the boundary with the 1200 meter topo contour. And the trend of the strike now is something like that. So I'll just put it in a bit, presuming this is gonna swing round, but I won't draw it just yet until I've got a bit more of the pattern established. Okay, well, I'm gonna avoid the hinge area here for a minute and just go over here where we're on the other limb where the strikes are more or less straight coming through here, slightly off north-south. And in this position here, I can see the topographic contour intersect the geological boundary there. So that's part of our structure contour loop. And I'm just gonna bring it like this. So this is our structure contour coming in, running more or less parallel to the strike symbols that we can see in the bedding here. And that's gonna continue, presumably, into this area here. Well, let's look carefully on the other side of this valley and the structure contour we hanging across the valley and come into the hillside over here where the 1200 topo contour intersects the boundary. So the structure contour come across like this and dive back underground there, coming in on the same trend. So we have a structure contour trending like this. It's gonna swing around and join out like that. Again, we'll avoid this area, but I'm just gonna join this one up like that. So here is our general shape of the structure contour. Well, I'm now gonna pick another structure contour just to confirm these two limb orientations. And I can see the next one we're gonna do is the 1000, which is this big fat one in here. So that's where the 1000 topo contour crosses the boundary. That's where it crosses the boundary over on this side of the hill. And again, that's gonna just come through something like that through there and out like that. So that's the 1000 on that limb. Okay, so the boundary's dipping there, confirming our little bit of structure contouring we did at the start. So that's going from 1200 to 1000, dipping that way under this hillside in here. 
over here then on this fold structure, the limb should be dipping in like this. So in other words, our thousand meter contour should lie on the right hand side of our 1200 that we've already drawn. So let's look down here to see whether we can see an intercept. Okay, yes, there. So there's the thousand, there's the geological boundary crossing. So somewhere more that's where the thousands written on the map is where the structure contour will cross the geological boundary. And presumably it's going to run this way, parallel to the strike symbols again, something like this, again, to the right of our 1200, inside it as it makes this fold structure. Well, over on this side of our main valley through here, the geological boundary is always above 1000 metres. So in other words, it would lie above the 1000 metre structure contour, which must therefore connect through here. And if we look in this position, the boundary lies pretty much parallel to the 1000 meter topographic contour so that the structure in here, the layer, should be dipping like this, striking this way, parallel to the topographic contours, dipping to the north. And actually that's confirmed by that bedding symbol. So in other words, our structure contour in here is gonna swing around something like this here to define the fold. So presumably then, the 1200 meter structure contour will show a similar loop closing around through this ground. So the way in which this boundary intersects the 1200 meter contour in this ground in here is going to provide the critical control. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. It's quite a tricky map pattern because the 1200 meter topo contour makes these little side valleys in here and the boundary just kisses the contour a couple of times through here, meaning that the structure contour is just gonna come here, and it's gonna avoid that valley, come out through here and avoid that valley. So it just does a slight wiggle through here. And it's slightly strange because those patterns are not picked out by the bedding variations, but we haven't got that much bedding information. It has to do that, it has to, can't cross this topo contour, otherwise there'd be a point of outcrop of the geological boundary in there, there isn't, so the structure contour must lie behind or south of the 1200 meter topo contour, creating this rather curious map pattern. So now let's draw on the 800 meter structure contour. So if we find the topographic contour of 800, just below 1000, of course, down in here, intersects the geological boundary just there. Okay, so if we look around the boundary elsewhere, it never drops down to 800 meters again. So therefore, we've only got this one point of control at outcrop, but we've got the trend of bedding. So we can use the trend of bedding just to guide our structure contour around like this, something like that, and out. And I'm also bearing in mind that the spacing simply is probably the same as this. So we have a narrow space in between the contours on this side of the fold, quite wide on this side. So let's just label that 800 there. I'll put an 800 here, like that. Well, now let's draw the um, fold hinge line on. And the hinge line will be at the points of maximum curvature on the contour, which sits something like that, doesn't it? Connecting these maximum curvature points through these wiggly bits on the red contour at 1200, the green one and the blue one, plunging down like that. So I'll just draw it on go and we'll use the bedding orientations up here so these beds are on this limb these beds are on that they're in, inclined towards the hinge so that's a sin form closing downwards so I'll draw it like that and we're going downhill from 1200 1800 along the hinge line so the plunge direction is like that So the quick application of some structure contour methods to understand some fold geometry.